In our last video, we wrote this code, which takes a file, supervillains.txt, and reads in each line appending it to this array list called name list. All of these hundred villains that are in this file are now inside of name list. Our next step is to do a linear search to find the particular name that we're looking for. Linear search is an incredibly simple search. Three lines makes up the main part of the linear search, and two of those lines are very, very easy to remember. Basically, we set i equal to zero, and we add one to i each time. How does this linear search work? Just the same as if you were to scan a list looking for a particular name, we're doing the same thing to the computer and having it scan the list from start to finish for each particular name. In this case, I'm going to set i equal to zero, and i is the index, basically which name are we looking at. I'm going to look at name zero, then name one, then name two, and so forth. I'm going to keep looking at each name in turn, and this moves to the next name on the list. I add one to the index, and then the next time through, I'm going to look at the next index item. The more complex part of this is the while loop, and the while loop checks for two different cases. The first case, have we run out of names? And it does this by looking at the length of the name list, which in this particular case, I've got 100 names, so this is going to be 100, but we might have a different length for a different list, hence the reason we do the length of the list. And I check to see if my index is less than this. My index is going to start at 0, and it's going to go up to 99 for a total of 100 names. At 99, 99 is less than 100, I'll check that last name. When it's equal to 100, that's actually the 101st name that I've got, and I'm going to drop out of the while loop. That means that I have not found what I'm looking for, and I've run out of names I want to drop out. Next up, I'm going to check to see if I've actually found the name. And I do that by looking at the name list. This is the entire list of names that I have right here. I don't want to just do name list. Common mistake, sometimes people just say, is name list equal to the item we're looking for? Well, there's 100 items in there. The computer needs to know which item we're talking about. In this case, this is the index of the item I'm looking for. First time through the loop, i is equal to 0. I check the first name. Second time through the loop, i is equal to 1. I check the next name. And this is the key that I'm looking for. In fact, I'll often use the word key or the variable name key in this place because we don't always want to check for Morgana the Shrew. I want to pass it in or store what I'm looking for, perhaps in a variable. I'll usually use the variable name key. Therefore, I've got three main components. The entire list, the index, where I'm at, and third, the key, what I'm looking for. When I drop out of this list, one of two things will be true. I've either run out of names or I found what I'm looking for. I can check to see if I've run out of names by, right here, if i is equal to the length of the name list. What I cannot do, and would be really tempting to do, is check to see if I found what I'm looking for rather than if I've run out of names. If instead I were to do if name list i is equal to Morgan of the Shrew, I would have an error because i would equal 100, and I only have 0 through 99, and then the computer would generate an error. Therefore, if I want to figure out if I found what I'm looking for, I need to check to see if the index is equal to the length. If the last next item to be checked is going to be 100, and the length of the list is 100, I haven't found it because basically we go from 0 to 99, remember. And if I'm at 100, I've run out of items. With any particular linear search, it is important that you do this first. You can't do this first. The reason being, if I get to 99, it works great. If I get to 100, I need to make sure that 100 less than 100, that's not true. The computer won't even run this part and I'm safe. But if the computer runs this part, get name list of 100, it's going to generate an error. 
and then rather than a nice controlled the name was not in the list I generate a red angry error message that I've run out or array index out of bounds something like that not what I'm looking for to demonstrate exactly what's going on this is my list of names I've gone ahead and thrown it into Excel and put an index in front of it this index is controlled by I and therefore name list zero points to this name list one points to this other item name list two name list three and so forth therefore keep in mind when you're looking at any type of search you've got two items you've got the index and the value what can get to be really confusing is if the value is a number and if we were actually searching through a list of numbers then sometimes people mix the index with the value and they get confused in the search which is why we're starting with searching for names rather than searching for numbers just to try to avoid that particular confusion anyway this is I this is your index this is your entire name list right here and then if I do name list with a particular index I pull out a particular name out of that item